Hi and welcome back to another video. So my name is Amanda. If you haven't seen me before, I try to make videos about kind of fashion and beauty and just have a very casual vibe. Uh, just like a very casual, uh, yeah, like how you would speak to a friend. That's just how I try to do it because I'm not a, like I'm not a professional at this. I just try my best. Anyways, I have a Suzanne haul for you today. I'm really sorry for this being late. I will say there was a theft involved. I am in the middle of planning my wedding or like, well, not planning, just like making everything set because I'm get, getting married this weekend, um, which is like so, so exciting. But it means that I have to prepare some stuff and yeah, I'm really sorry. Uh, but I have one, two, three, four things from Zazan to show you today. Uh, and I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, let's get into it. Let's start with the reason, one of the reasons why this video was late. So as I said, there was a theft. Basically, I had ordered three things from Zazan and I got home the package. Uh, and the package was, there was tape around the package which if you order from Suzanne, there's rarely tape around the package, uh, especially like clear tape, I've never had that before. So I immediately thought, oh, that's, that's a bit off, but well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it anyways. And like, I thought it was a bit off, but I didn't really make anything out of it <laughs> quite yet. And then I opened up the package and these shoes like the complete like the shoe box everything nothing was like n these shoes weren't in the package they had left a jacket and a scarf i will be coming to those later they had left a jacket and a scarf but they had taken these shoes that was my first thought i was like someone has opened my package um taking these shoes out and i was like why did they take this shoe but not like any of the other things like why did they just Take this um but i i contacted Suzanne because I, I didn't know if maybe they just send two orders sometimes they've done that they send two orders instead of like two packages in, in one order instead of one package and i just wrote like i'm really i don't know what's happened the package came with tape around it i thought well that was weird i showed them a picture uh, and it's just said like the shoes aren't there like I don't know what has happened um and they were like so sorry this has happened uh we'll send you either you can we can send you another pair or you can get a refund so they were very, very quick to respond uh the customer service was great in that in that way um uh, and obviously just because they don't say anything obviously someone had taken the shoes out of the package uh, I don't know where that has happened. I don't know if it was in one of the stops. I doubt it's in my like, you know, where you pick up your package. I doubt it was that because I barely left the package there for like, I think I left the package there for maybe half an hour um, before I picked it up because I'm very quick. Like as soon as I get uh, your package here, I go there directly and I pick it up. Um, not because anything has happened, just out of excitement. Um, but yeah, super disappointing. I don't know why people would do that. I don't know, how, has that happened to you uh, anytime? I would, I would really love to know, so please let me know. And also, why would they just take these shoes? Anyways, these are the shoes I'm talking about. They are the Cezanne Paula Babies in the varnish red. As soon as I saw these that these came out i talked about that in another video as soon as i saw these two came out i was like i'm gonna buy them directly because they i had literally dreamt about these shoes like before they even were made <laughs> um so i bought them directly and i know that the Suzanne polar babies are like quite a famous staple like quite a famous staple for the brand and just this red is, is a very beautiful red. It's very much a, a, a true, a true, true, true red. Slightly to the blue side, but I would say probably like a true red. Um, and I've adjusted the uh, the straps uh, so that they are slightly wider because I have slightly wider feet. 
and I bought a size 40 so that's an Italian size 39 which is my true to size but I have to strap in the sole like strap them in a little bit on the heel because my feet end just quite early on the foot so if you have very narrow feet um just maybe i think if you have very narrow feet just adjust this and go to your true to size um if you have very wide feet i think you would still be fine because i do have wide feet and i was just able to adjust them um they have slight padding not a lot of padding but a, a slight padding on throughout the whole shoe both on the heel and also um around your toes and um yeah the, the <laughs> like flat part of your foot um and they have a rubber sole i will say the only thing that i don't quite love about it is that uh, the rubber sole you can very clearly see there's a rubber sole uh, on the side because this part is quite high i would just prefer it if this rubber wasn't as high on the on the shoe or if it was you know slightly prettier i guess uh because you can very clearly see that it's rubber i guess you wouldn't be able to like really notice that when you walk in them but just something that bothers me especially when i look at them on the slide um they're quite comfortable uh i will have a video comparing these ones to the corel ones the Corel Pecci Ballet Flats, which I've ordered. And I'm going to try both of them out in a separate video and sort of give my comparison points um, just from trying them out. I'm not like 100% sure if I'll be keeping these uh, because I have those Corel ones on, on the way and I want to I want to really have a very comfortable pair of shoes because if I order uh, something that looks like this, I just know myself I, I really love comfort so they will have to be very very comfortable for me to actually get the use out of them and wear them in the places that I do want to wear them because I walk everywhere when I'm in the city or I bike so I need a, a very comfortable pair of shoes uh, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna try them and compare them because at the moment they are comfortable but they are not like walking a whole day comfortable and that's what i need them to be so we'll see and then speaking of like comfortable pair of shoes i bought these ones so they are the leo trainers from sasan so i've worn them quite a bit already um i don't really see people talking about these <laughs> shoes so let me just introduce them slightly they are um a pair of sneakers very much very much sporty style sneaker uh like somewhere in between a sporty and a city sneaker um and they have like a mid sized platform like they're not flat sneakers they're not platform sneakers but they have a slight platform and they are fully leather lined i really love that and the back of the heel is in suede um, and they have the logo sort of on the front of the tongue you can't really see that it's debossed uh, and then they have holes for breathability when I first bought these these shoes uh, my first feeling was that they were too big so I got the size 40 my first feeling was oh my god they're too big because they they gap when I I get like yeah they I get a gap when I wear them but then I just tied it, them all the way up so usually when they come sent to you they have just tied them up to this and I tied them up all the way here uh, which sort of solved that problem for me and obviously I'm wearing them as socks as well and I started wearing them and <laughs> that my second thought was not very comfortable um, and I was a bit disappointed that I bought a pair of sneakers that weren't super comfortable but I continued to wear them and I would say probably after my second wear or my, like at my third wear or fourth wear I found them so much more comfortable and they have really shaped to my foot um, they're not padded but they have like slight changes into in the sole like they are 
slightly big on the in like slightly heightened on the inside of your foot um so so as, you know as usual like a, a shoe would be not like completely flat but they are not padded but they are leather lined and the, there's some bounds in the in the sole of the shoe and and definitely i would say that i was just surprised by how comfortable they got after a while and i'm really really enjoying wearing them and again i wear like when i wear sneakers i tend to wear sneakers like throughout the day so they need to be very comfortable and i just haven't seen anyone talking about the leo trainers um but they are such a nice shoe and especially for the price like the price is very decent for a completely leather lined pair of sneakers i think it's like 160 euros which i would say is very very fair and a lot cheaper than my like my brand alternative was um axel Arigato, uh which is actually a gaffenberg brand uh i'm from gaffenberg so you know shout out to them um but uh they are a lot more expensive than these like almost double no double the price but a lot more expensive than these uh so yeah i was really pleasantly surprised and they also come in a different so like a couple of colors around here so you can get like a green or a blue or a pink i think so you can get some color into your sneakers if you want to and then just a small thing that i got is this scarf so this is the gaston scarf from suzanne so the gaston scarf is a cotton scarf um i think it's a 25 euros i i tend to wear them i really like them. i have i have another one um which is is this i have put it on this bag at the moment just to make it like to have like a pop of color uh, and it's a instant it's in the yellow i got it in an archive sale um but i just like it as a cup like a pop of color if you can see it with my outfit today i just think that it kind of it bring, brings some personality into your outfit uh and they're not a lot like for you know for the for the i want to say jazz like for the for the sort of sassiness or the spark of color that they bring they're not a lot of money uh so i tend to wear them sort of around my neck or around my head like uh, like as a, as a hair tie something like that just to give a touch of color and i really like this purple and i really like the fact that it's beautiful from both sides like so i really like that so i had been dreaming about this jacket i had been thinking about this jacket i had it on my wish list i put it in my cart many many times and i finally finally did it um and it's the renato jacket so this one i saw when it first launched i saw it and i was like that's such a that's such a beautiful jacket then i saw it on katie louise trying on and i was like that's again that's an amazing jacket and i have been sort of eyeing it up i finally succumbed and i uh, bought it in a size 42 and I thought that the 42 was slightly too narrow on my hips so I turned it and I got this one which is in a size 44 and it just it has the most beautiful embroidery before I talk about the negative sides of this jacket let me talk about the positive sides so it's an ecru base with the most beautiful embroidery I love this color combination as well it has blue like a light blue as burgundy and it's a very interesting green it's like a dark mint like a dark minty color green and the embroidery with flowers and the tortoise buttons it's very stunning it looks amazing on the model if you stand <laughs> if you close the jacket and you tie it because there is a there's a tie as well to the jacket if you close it and you tie it let me see if i can find the strap it looks it looks great if you stand it if you stand in certain positions it does look great let's talk about the negatives so it is in a cotton blend with some synthetics it is extremely warm <laughs> it is a very very warm jacket i know i'm trying it on in summer but i can feel that it's very very warm 
uh, which I don't particularly mind, but um, I needed to then work open because I want to wear this in like those kind of transitional months, like both autumn and spring. And then I want to wear it open. I just don't think it looks great open. There's something about the structure of it. It's very straight. It's it just sort of cuts out, like cuts off you in, in a weird, weird place when it's closed. Oh, and sorry, when it's open, and the sleeves it looks off. So I would definitely try to prefer it. Yeah, like I definitely prefer it um, closed rather than open. But I tend to wear my jackets open a lot of the time. That's how I prefer to wear my jackets. So I need the jackets to look great when open and good when closed um, and not the other way around and this just it barely looks good it looks like okay open the other sort of struggle that I have with with the jacket which is probably the thing that bugs me the most is that these sleeves so they are all oversized sleeves and it has a seam sort of right on your inside of your elbow and when you move your arms the sleeve like like this sorry the seam digs into your inside of your elbow and it's quite uncomfortable because it's uncomfortable I don't like to wear like as I said I don't like to wear clothes that are uncomfortable I want I need my clothes to be very very comfortable otherwise I tend to not wear them or I tend to wear them only at very, very specific or special places. So I can deal with uncomfortable clothes if they are like only party clothes and, and not maybe when it's a party where I want to dance. Or, you know, I, need, I need very, very specific occasions for uncomfortable clothes and shoes to work. So it's, it's like, it's quite a disappointment. Um, and I wasn't expecting it to be. I was expecting to like completely love it, completely just mind blown by the jacket. And to find out that it's uncomfortable to wear, it was just not on my mind whatsoever. So I just wanted to, I guess, warn about that. If you've been thinking about this jacket, um, that it, it's, it's honestly not that comfortable. And I just would, I would love if they made Please make this embroidery, because the embroidery is beautiful. Please make this embroidery, but in a different shape of the jacket. Um, maybe like the, I think it's called the fawn jacket. I think that would look great in this embroidery. But just the shape of this, it's not really working for me personally. So I'll be sending this back, unfortunately. I was really not thinking that, but um, yeah, so sorry. <laughs> so those were all the pieces so let me know what you think let me know if you think i should keep the if you if i should keep the red shoes let me know what you thought about the jacket and if you have tried that on as well and if you were disappointed if you completely fell in love with it um yeah but especially about the shoes because i'm still i'm still sort of on the fence about them uh but i said i want to try the curl ones um, which I have tried, like I've tried the curl ones in the red that they have, the very famous red. Um, but those, I think that the red is slightly wrong for me, like it's not the right shade of red. And yeah, anyways, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that in another video. I'm not gonna get into it, but I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you would like to see, if you'd like to see the video comparing these sample babies to the curl ones please consider subscribing you don't have to if you don't want to but i would really appreciate it and i will see you in the next video bye